good morning. We give thanks to the Father who has made us worthy to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. Good morning and welcome to morning prayer at Christ Episcopal Church. I'm Deacon Marcia and I welcome all who have joined us this morning, those who are with us on a regular basis and anyone who might be new this morning. We're so glad that you've joined us. So let us begin with the confession on page 78 of the Book of Common Prayer. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let us say together the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it. His hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our maker. For he is our God. We are, are his people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The Lord is glorious in his saints. Come, let us adore him. Thus now turning to page 775, if you're in your prayer books, say together Psalm 119. I will call with my whole heart. Answer me, O Lord, that I may keep your statutes. I call to you, oh, that you would save me. I will keep your decrees. Early in the morning, I cry out to you, for in your word is my trust. My eyes are open in the night watches, that I may meditate upon your promise. Hear my voice, O Lord, according to your loving kindness. According to your judgments, give me life. They draw near who is in malice, persecute me. They are very far from your law. You, O Lord, are near at hand. And all your commandments are true. Long have I known from your decrees that you have established them forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The reading today is uh, from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 10, verses 16 through 22. See, I am sending you out like sheep into the midst of wolves. So be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. Beware of them for they will hand you over to councils and flog you in their synagogues, and you will be dragged before governors and kings before me as a testimony to them and the Gentiles. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say, for what you are to say will be given to you at the time, for it is not you who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Brother will will betray brother to death 
and father his child, and children will rise up against parents and have them put to death, and you will be hated by all because of my name. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. The word of the Lord. Let us say together, Canticle 21, You Are God. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal Father. All all creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white robes army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people. Bought with the price of your own blood and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Now turning to page 96, let us say the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us say in responsively, let us pray the suffragist A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let not your way be known upon earth. Sorry, let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O God, Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and stain us with your Holy Spirit. Today is the feast day of St. James, the brother of our Lord and martyr, so let us pray uh, this prayer. Grant, O God, that following the example of your servant James the Just, brother of our Lord, your church may give itself continually 
to prayer and to the reconciliation of all who are at variance and enmity. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A colic for grace. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And a prayer for mission. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. Let's take just a few moments now to offer our own prayers of intercession and prayers of thanksgiving. Lord, we pray for our nation, pray for our church, and today, Lord, I offer prayers for the children and young adults um, at Amistad and that have grown up at Amistad and are currently there um, at the orphanage. And I pray for a small group of us who are going down on tomorrow. Um, ask for safe travels and um, for wonderful blessing to be with our children. Amen. Let us now say together the prayer of thanksgiving on page 101 of the prayer book. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all the goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom, with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in your name, you will be, in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions that may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and into the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us this morning. And um, as I said in the prayers, I'll be leaving tomorrow morning for Bolivia and um, we'll send greetings to our children there from Christ Church. And we'll be looking forward to seeing you when I return. Thanks, and just have a great week. Bye-bye.